Editing can be tough and most software only complicates things, but recently I stumbled on a tool that's so user-friendly you don't need any editing experience. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a basic YouTube video quickly and easily, even if you're a complete beginner. You gotta just press record. Welcome back to Think Media and Nate here. So about a year ago, I started using a tool called Gling.ai. And let me tell you, it's been a game changer. Unlike other video editing software that feels overwhelming, Gling AI is like having your own video editing assistant. It's pretty cool. It cuts out the bad parts of your video, removes silences, and provides you with a rough cut in no time. So to get started, let's head over to gling.ai and we're gonna click start for free. Here we can either download the browser version or the app, which I'll just click download for Mac. Once it's downloaded, we wanna head over down to the Gling app and open that up. Now, when you open this for the first time, it'll prompt you to sign up, but don't worry because you can actually get started for free by clicking the link in the description and we can upload our video. So I'm going to take our video right here and this is my A-roll, my talking head footage, my main footage. So I'm gonna click this and I'm just gonna drag it into this little area drop box right here. And it's gonna take a minute to load up, but once we do, we can give our project a name. So I'm just gonna say my project and we can upload different files. We can choose the language which we spoken in, which is English. I'm gonna head and click continue. From here, we can choose how we want Gling AI to edit our video. We have a few options such as removing the silences from our video, cutting out the bad takes, and even a jump cut zoom. So it will zoom into the frame after every cut and remove audio noise. So kind of do a noise processing in the background to make sure everything sounds clear. For this video, I'm gonna select these first two and go down to enhance and edit. So it's gonna take a minute to transcribe our video. So grab a cup of coffee, grab some sparkling water and let Gling do its magic. And boom, now that it's finished, you'll see the parts that Gling AI has decided to cut and leave you with just the good takes. So let's go ahead and let's preview this video. I'm going to just take my mouse, click on the first word and press the space bar to play. As an editor for Think Media, I know how time consuming video editing can be. And one of my favorite tools for speeding up this process is with Gling AI. Gling has completely changed my workflow by automatically cutting out bad takes, removing silences, and cleaning up my rough cuts. Honestly, this has already saved me so much time. Instead of manually chopping out mistakes and re-listening to a segment over and over again, this tool has basically done that for me. Now, one of the best parts about Gling is that you still have control over the edit of your video. One of my favorite features is we can kind of edit our video like a Word document. So right here, we have a word that's just empty space. For some reason it's identified it as Keith's. We can just simply highlight this word and press delete, or we could click the scissor icon if we prefer that. And boom, it's just made an edit. It's so simple and easy to do. So as you can see, Gling does a solid job about highlighting what should be included and what should not, especially for scripted videos, but it can make a few mistakes. So I recommend going through and making adjustments as needed. So now we have a trimmed down version of our video, but as we play this video back, you're gonna notice a harsh cut. This is what we call a jump cut, but don't worry because there's some customization options we can control. So let's go ahead and dive into those. So starting at the top, we have this enhance button and clicking on that is going to give us several different options such as smart captions, jump cut zoom, and remove noise from audio. The jump cut zoom feature is quite useful. If I enable this, it's automatically going to crop into my face. Down here is a slider for controlling the scale of that zoom. And I can choose whether I want it to center on my face or not. I'm going to go ahead and click apply to all. Now when I play this back, it will automatically zoom in onto the next shot, making it feel like I have a second camera angle and makes it feel a lot more fluid rather than having those harsh jump cuts. Now, for some reason, Gling has applied this jump cut zoom to every shot, but I actually want it to happen every other shot so that we don't have a jump cut. So I'm just gonna go down here and turn this off right here. That way it plays back smoothly and we don't have any jump cuts. So this video is already looking great, but we can actually further enhance it by going to enhance and let's turn on smart captions. This is automatically going to generate captions that appear on the bottom of our screen. And this is a great way to make your video more accessible. By clicking on the captions, we have a bunch of different styles to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and choose maybe a little bit more of a minimal design. Once you selected a style, you can customize the font and size by clicking this plus button. In here, we can choose a bunch of different fonts. I'm going to actually select 
Futura. And then we can adjust the scale of our text. This is a bit big, so let's drop it down to 70 or so. We can choose if we want an outline or if we want a background. I'm going to check on the box icon and give this a color. And this is going to highlight that specific word. So let's choose a nice bluish color. And the last thing I'll adjust is how much text is on screen. So you can actually adjust the size of this box. And let's just have a few words on the screen at a time. You can move the captions anywhere you want on screen, but you want to make sure it's positioned well. So don't put it too close to the edges of the screen. That way it's seen on all devices. Once you're happy with the font style and size, you want to make sure you click apply to all. Now we have captions on our video. One quick note when you're using captions for Gling, sometimes you'll get a word that's misspelled. For instance, it says Googling when I said Gling. In order to fix this, we can just double click on the word, click correct and then I can type in Gling, click apply, and that will fix that misspelling. So I'm just gonna go through and apply this for every time it says Gling, make sure it is spelled properly. And once that's adjusted, I can click play on our video. And as you can see, we got some great looking captions in just a matter of a few seconds. So now let's move on to some AI assistant tools by clicking on the AI assistant. And there's some pretty neat stuff in here. We can click on title generator. This is pretty useful because Gling AI has transcribed our video so it knows the context of our video. And so it's going to generate a few titles based off what it thinks. Up here, you can actually adjust the curiosity or if you want it to be more authentic. Now I will say that these titles aren't perfect, but they are great for sparking ideas. Next up in AI Assistant, we're gonna choose the chapters generator. And this is really cool, especially for longer videos or podcasts. By clicking on this option, it's going to generate an AI chapter with a time code and a brief description of each segment. Because I have a shorter video, it's only giving me one time code, but I could just click down use as chapters. After clicking that, you can go over to the chapters button. As you can see, it has the time code, a brief description of that time code, and we can copy all those and put them on our YouTube description. And again, while these AI tools are helpful, they are not perfect. And I recommend reviewing the suggestions and tweaking them, adding your own personal touch and making sure it fits your style and content. Right next to the AI assistant, we have a search button. And this is pretty handy because if you want to get to a part of a video quickly, let's say I remember talking about resolve, it's going to highlight every time I mention that word. So you can quickly and easily navigate to a part of a video and play it back from there. Right next to that, we have the copy button. If I click that, it's going to copy everything you see right here, the whole transcribed video. If you just want the finished result, go down here and turn off show cuts, and I can click copy for the cleaned up version. Now let's take a look at the bottom of the screen where we have a few different playback controls. There is a play and a pause button for playing and pausing our video. There's also a speed button. So it's pretty handy to just turn on 2x speed when you wanna quickly review your video without having to listen to every detail. Then we have the show cuts and the skip cut buttons. If we toggle on show cuts, as you can see, this is the entire script. So it can be a bit messy, but it is handy for adding things back into your video. And if we turn it off, we just have the nice clean edited version, making it easier to identify different sections of our video. If I turn this back on, we have also the skip cuts button. So this is on by default and it's only going to play back our good takes of our video. We could choose to disable this if we want to go back into a part where we want to listen to a different version. Maybe we prefer it and we want to swap those out. And if I want to do so, I can just go over here, click cut on that one and add this one back in. Towards the right of the screen, we have a couple different editing tools. Number one is the split tool. Sometimes it can be handy to split a part of our video. This is more like our traditional editing software. I clip this, it breaks this longer clip into two, and then I can go in here and trim things up if I want to. Another handy feature is the pace button. So Gling's default pace setting is pretty solid, leaving minimal gaps. But if you want a more relaxed or a snappy feel, you can actually just adjust this right here and then click apply. And that will again update the whole video to give it more breath or to tighten things up. And right next to that, we have the zoom bar so we can zoom into our timeline and get really granular, or we can zoom out to see our entire video. With that, our video is nearly complete. All that's left to do is to export it. So let's head over to the top, click export, 
choose video mp4 and here it will be ready to upload to youtube now if you want to add more into your video like add music and additional footage one really cool feature about gling is the ability to export out xml files this file is kind of like a bridge between gling and more advanced editing programs so that all your edits made in gling will transfer it into another editor so let's go ahead and click export i edit in davinci resolve so i'm going to click resolve xml and let's click save once you're in davinci resolve just go up to file import timeline and we're going to select that file that we just exported you can give your project a name and go ahead and press ok and now all of our cuts and our edits appear in the timeline this allows you to add b-roll music without having to start from scratch now let's take a look at our final video we just made as an editor for think media i know how time consuming video editing can be and one of my favorite tools for speeding up this process is with gling ai Gling has completely changed my workflow by automatically cutting out bad takes, removing silences, and cleaning up my rough cuts. It makes this process super easy and saves me hours on each video. Now, if you want to fine tune your edits, Gling lets you download the video or export it directly into Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, or Premiere Pro for those final adjustments. You can get started for free by clicking the link in the description and see how much time Gling can save you. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this tool and if you plan on using it, but if you want to dive in deeper by adding in B-roll and music to your video, definitely check out this video where I share my entire process of editing a YouTube video right here.